Hola, muchas gracias, Ariel. Um, Ariel. Mi presentación se ve todo bien. There you have uh, my presentation. Bueno, eh, mi propuesta es muy simple, sencilla y concreta. Es, es my más... proposal is very simple and it can be summarized into five words. And this is about of adding a short descriptor to a policy proposal. This is like a sort of a keyword to the policy proposal identification codes. So what is the intention here, the rationale? The idea is to contribute to the policy discussion. This is something that we have mentioned in the past. We see that it is sometimes difficult to follow the conversations, particularly for those who are not always reading the discussions on a daily basis, like in my case, I dedicate a certain time of the week to look at the traffic in the list. So sometimes it is difficult to follow conversations, to discriminate from the different topics. To address some of the policies, sometimes you might be more interested in one policy ones. than the other. And also, and also searching for, the search and for files. The policies is a bit more complex. The interfaces so the are complex sometimes. So this is a simple change, a but I think it will have it a great impact enhancing usability and, and promoting more participation in so this form. What I wrote here is the current format, format of the email that is sent to the sent to the list to the, to the forum list, the form list. and in, in the, the subject, subject line, we, we usually have the code the or the identifier that LACNIC assigns to the proposals in, this in the three the official languages. languages. So as you can like see you can in see my in next, next slide, this, this usually is what it makes it harder up. to follow here. up. Everyone we have the codes and we have the threads. And I got this uh, screenshot this in the, the mailing list. And usually the email that we all use uh, to, to have access to this. So, so this proposal is to tries to uh, add a very very short, that's why it says short descriptor or we keyword or keyword mnemonic or code, code, maybe two or three words, words that can help us. That can have a, uh, or it's like something easier for human memory to retain. Uh, so uh, it's easier to, to access to the content of this proposal. So this is like a fingerprint, let's say, a more, a, a more technical word, maybe. So for example, mine here, it's adding a short descriptor to the policy proposal and the short descriptor would be, for this would be dash short. short. So it's just adding, adding an additional field, field to the information the requested to authors and, and that to be included in, in our subject, subject for our email. So this change, even though it is a small change, I think that it would it would it would really help usability. We have some examples. I took some examples from different proposals on our site and what I think the short descriptor could be. Now, this is not a new idea. This is inspired in IETF, where the, the discussion of the standards para identificarlo durante su discusión se utiliza un mnemotécnico parecido al que yo estoy poniendo acá. Um, acá tengo algunas de las discusiones que se han dado en la lista. Um, agradezco todo el feedback que, que ha tenido. So, y lo I thank you for the feedback received and for the support. We are going to be able to continue doing this in the discussion and the list language create a new version, including the things we described now and discussed now. But this is so that you have an impression of the things we could improve. 
for example, if there's a proposal that might not need a short descriptor, but we can use the same titles, for example. But the title has to be very precise. The descriptor, the title should be longer, I think, and the descriptor has to be brief. The format, well, this is something that we have to discuss with LACNIC staff because they are the ones that sent these proposals. And that would be all. This is a recent proposal. So the intention was to present this, to get your feedback, if this would be a solution or a problem. And if it is well worth working on this, I think it is worthwhile. This is a minor change. And I think the change in policy development is something that is more profound. Maybe we should consider those things. So these are decisions that have to be made as a community. And I think that would be all, Ariel. Um, Thomas here. Thank you very much, Hugo. As Hugo was saying, this proposal was published recently, so it still hasn't had impact analysis by LACNIC staff. I like the fact that you included the question. So let us now start the discussion, the 10 minute discussion. And let us see then questions we get from the participants. Let me remind you that we have 141 participants. So send your questions in, try not to answer one another in the Q&A and let us now start reading with our super secretaries, Mr. Carlos Atahualpa Martinez. Thank you, Thomas. Can you hear me better now? I was told my audio wasn't that good earlier today. Well, I have two questions. One question, I have two comments rather. Ricardo Patara asks his question in Spanish. I fully agree, although it is simplest, as the author has said, it is very welcome and it will be very beneficial. Jordi, I agree. However, I think that this could be simplified. I would not ask for consensus in this version. Among other suggestions, I stated where we can add a new field because we, why not doing it directly in the title? I think that the problem is the procedure of the staff that sends an extremely long subject line and it should only contain the title and the ID in Spanish, and that is it. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you, Jordi. Yes, I think that the issue of the title is a point, but let me tell you that in the list, Mariela, on behalf of the staff, considered that changes can be made without publishing this as a change in the policy. So I, unless I want, this is something I want to discuss with the staff to see what improvements we can bring about without taking this right through to the end. But anyway, I welcome any assistance. Thank you, Hugo. There's another one from Guillermo Pagliero. He says, I support the proposal. Hugo is perfectly right. It is much easier for those who are who don't continuously follow the forum. Many of us get lost if we don't do so very regularly. And so far, those would be the questions. These are expressions in favor. So eight minutes of discussion. We wait a bit longer to see if new questions or expressions of support or those who are against. Yes. I think there's no one against this. So I think it is well worth to continue working on this and maybe to look at into some of the details and discuss this with the staffs because this 
it has to do in the way I operate. So, go ahead, Carlos. Well, your idea, Hugo, is to present a new version based on all this input. Yes, exactly. A new version, which would be sent to the list. I have two more comments who are in favor. CLA Direct Conference Direct. This is an odd name, but anyway, that is the name we have. I support this proposal. And we have an anonymous attendee who says, I am in favor. I think this simplifies the way we manage policies. One more. Rolando Ricapa. I support simplifying this, and I think that the methodology to select this descriptor and the title is otherwise it would be very wrong. It's not clear whether he is in favor or against. In favor or against, Rolando. Rolando, could you explicitly say whether you are in favor or against? If there were anyone in favor, okay, in favor. Rolando says that he's in favor. Thank you, Rolando. Thank you. Bueno. Bueno, creo que estamos. Le podemos dar más tiempo a la siguiente. So maybe we can have a bit more time for the other proposals. No, no, we have more. Hugo, don't leave us. One says, excellent proposal, I'm in favor. Auto Maturin, I support the proposal, although I would like it to be a new version based on the discussions in the list. Russell says, I agree, it's always better to make things more simple. Russell, I'm not sure if you are for or against the, the, the policy. A favor, dice Russell. In favor. He says in favor. Cesar Labrador, está de acuerdo en el interpretación. Cesar Labrador, he agrees. He's in favor of the proposal. Asael Fernández comenta que está de acuerdo. Asael Fernández says he agrees. Bueno. Yo creo que estamos bien con esto. Okay, I think this is this is very good. What do you think, Ariel? I think this is enough. A Ariel siempre escribe un script, ¿sí? Ariel eh. always writes a script. If I don't read the script, he tells me, well, thank you, well, I'll see you tomorrow. But no, we will now get a feel of the room. Um, so we are able to use that when we address consensus. So I think that in the Spanish version of Zoom says voting. Again, this is not voting. It doesn't matter. There are more for in favor opinions or against. We're just sending a feel of the of the room. The the result, and, and actually, when the author has said that they're going to write a new version, of course, that does not mean that there's been consensus. So let's get a feel of the room, and if you can please take part in the poll. <coughs> Yo puse el temporizador, te aviso. Está bien, yo acá estoy con el teléfono que tiene número. I have my phone with the chronometer. Increíble lo que es la tecnología. Technology is fantastic. Poner un temporizador, ¿a vos te parece? No, no, me apareció la alarma. I have the alarm, actually. Ahí está. Here's my timer. Si saltó una alarma, habrás dejado algo en el horno, Tomás. Do you have an alarm went off? Did you turn off the oven? Tomás, are you sure that you turned it off? I know you were cooking. No, de, de, he de, doesn't know what to say. La pandemia que estoy de, no, well, you know this pandemic. Profesor también acá de, va de, I, I am also, well, actually I am now the teacher of a third grade girl to be a math teacher in, in high school. So I am 
quite versatile. Yeah, and I have to work sometimes as well. Bueno. Bueno. Vamos, vamos a dar... Ahí está. Perfecto. Interesante que hubo uno en contra. It's interesting that one person was was against. I would love to know why that person is against. Let's see if they are brave enough enough to to say it. Because I mean, it it is strange that well to see a proposal with so many people in favor and now one person against. We would, I mean, we would love to know what the reasons are. Remember that that one vote against could actually cause the proposal not to reach consensus, even though there are 30 or 40 in favor. All caps, they are writing in all caps. Well, but that's not enough reason to be against. We're looking at the proposal, not the procedure. Bueno. ¿Cómo sigue mi script? Acá está. So, what does my script say? The proposal lack 2028 version one to add a short descriptor to the policy proposal begins the initial discussion stage. So we need to have at least eight weeks of discussions on 18, 11, 20, 20 as of that date and for two weeks we, the chairs, will communicate the community whether this proposal has reached consensus or not. So we will carry on the discussion to the policy list. And as Hugo said, and actually uh, to all authors, the comments in the, in the list are, are always welcome, whether in favor or against, especially so we know what to improve in our proposals. Thank you very much.